Hi, my name is Jan Mikolaj Kaminski and I would like to present you our work titled Deep Ensemble Model for Segmenting Microscopy Images in the Presence of Limited Labeled Data. As we all know, one of the basic assumptions of supervised learning is that the data is identically and independently distributed. While working with small data set, this assumption is mostly violated. Uh, in order to overcome this problem, in the recent years, the ensemble model has been proposed to fix it. Most of those models uh, focus on the differences within the models that contribute to it rather than the differences within the data. However, we look at it differently. Class imbalance and various annotators can lead to creation of multiple data modes. Therefore, we decided that the objective of this project would be to create the deep ensemble model, which takes advantage of different modes in the data therefore being able to perform efficient 2D segmentation. Our method consists of two parts. First, the partitioning of the data, uh, which could be done based on an expert knowledge or different raters. However, those different raters have to non-overlap, which is crucial, crucial for this analysis. As you can see on the left, uh, this is uh, the pipeline of our ensemble. First, we partition the data into m different modes with one additional mode constituted of the complete data set. Next, we perform the, uh, the, the ensemble model. So we start with the k-fold cross-validation for each of the data modes. Uh, next, we go into the first level ensemble, which is basically a combined segmentation for each of the modes. And lastly, we have our final ensemble model, which is uh, created by combination from all mode, uh, mode level predictions with m plus 1 times k discrete prediction levels. This value of m plus 1 times k is also equivalent to the number of segmentation models that were trained during the pipeline. For our experiment, we had the high resolution grayscale mice spinal cord microscopy images uh, acquired at two different time points uh, on the 1st and on the 28th postnatal day. The images were divided into patches of size 512 by 512. Uh, out of those patches, we had 52 training ones with sparse annotations. Uh, this contributed to 2% of the whole data set. Uh, for the purpose of testing, we selected four test images, which were fully annotated. Uh, for the baseline, we decided to use the standard unit and the seeded region growing. Uh, based on the export knowledge, uh, we had uh, two modes in our data and during the ensemble pipeline we had 15 separate identically structured units trained. Uh, we also used the dice loss and the F1 score as the metrics during the training. Uh, as you can see on the image on the right, uh, these are our results. So you can see the original image, the ground truth and then the segmentation result performed by standard unit and our ensemble. You can clearly see that our ensemble does a slightly better job at segmenting the interneurons, which can also be seen by the values of F1 score presented in the table below. The performance of our ensemble was equivalent to 64% of the F1 score uh, compared to 53% for the standard unit. Uh, in conclusion, our proposed ensemble improved the F1 score by around 0.1 compared to the standard unit. Uh, which is What is interesting is that the best F1 score was obtained with the threshold of 0.06, which is equivalent to 1 over 15. Uh, this would imply that all the models uh, constituted to the ensemble are useful and that every one of them uh, improves the F1 score. Uh, additionally, we hypothesized that the proposed model is most useful under the uh, non-IID data regime. Uh, the diversity is achieved by learning on uh, different modes of the data distribution, meaning that if you apply our ensemble model to the data which is identically and uh, independently distributed, uh, the identically structured uh, models will not uh, learn more they will learn all the same things and the F1 score will not be improved. Uh, thank you for your attention and have a good conference.